world, or the film picks up where Thor left off in Thor 2, which is having stayed on Earth, so we see a more grounded, earthly version of Thor than we have in the past. A few more opportunities for some humor. Yeah, whosoever, be he worthy, you shall have the power. Whatever, man, it's a trick. No, it is much more than that, my friend. You knew I'd seen this before. Yeah! I still don't know how you do it. <laughs> You know, he's a central part of the team. There's certainly a unity they've all formed now. Here we all are, with nothing but our wit and our will to save the world. So stand and fight. There's a bit more teamwork going on. Him and Cap often kind of pair up. It's all in the swing. They're kind of just uh, leaning on one another as soldiers. There's no one person giving commands, but we're kind of operating as a true group now. All right, it's time for some fun. Is that the best you can do? You had to ask. Thor has grown a great affection for Earth, and you know his biggest concern is the well-being of this world. He's gotten to a higher ambition than he had before, which is just to make it better. You believe in peace, then let us keep it. He is the linchpin between Earth and everything else. He was our guide into the cosmic side of the Marvel Universe. And you'll see in Age of Ultron, he continues to be one who can have a certain amount of knowledge that nobody else can. Because of where he's from, he definitely sees a bigger picture of the current conflict that's going on. You meddle with something you don't understand. I think we've covered more ground than we have ever before, and everything has just been dialed up. To see all these characters come together the second time with tons of action, tons of humor, and also heart. I think it's pretty exciting.